Welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your girl Chrissy Chella here and in today's YouTube video, gosh, you requested this one. Like, I'm a little bit stunned at how many of you requested this video, but we're gonna go through an hourglass workout. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No. Before we get into this workout, we need to identify some important things and I feel like they're topics that need to be discussed. I have not spent seven to eight years busting my ass off to tell women to strength train, to tell women to fuel their bodies, to tell women that they are so capable of being anything they want to be and like I want to cry I don't know why I'm getting so emotional but I have seen women quite literally change their lives save their lives and become the powerful women that they deserve to be through strength training through just watching a YouTube video about strength training through picking up a set of dumbbells and I will be damned if I let articles like this ever ever change your mentality about what true sustainable health and wellness is. The second thing I wanted to talk about is whilst I think it's amazing that people are looking for workouts and they identify workouts with specific names such as hourglass workout, I just want you to understand that this whole hourglass figure, this whole heroin chick body, these are just trends. Like these are trends guys. They're, they're gonna come, they're gonna go. For all we know, long legs and big limbs and short limbs and this it's just gonna happen over and over and over again. So if there's one thing I want you to take out of this YouTube video is to understand that I just want you to aim for the most sustainable life you could possibly aim for. And f the trends, like f your trends, I'm done with it. Sorry, that's a bit aggressive, but I don't want my daughter one day, if I ever have a little mini Chrissy, to run around the world and think one day she's gotta be X and the other day she's got to be Y. I just want her to feel good with who she is and move her body in a way that empowers her. With this workout, we're going to focus on an upper body workout. So whilst the title may have been clickbait, I'm still going to take you through a workout. And the reason being is because I want to encourage more women to train their upper bodies, to feel powerful and strong and to understand that training your body in a 360 way is super important and it's super vital for your health. So I'm gonna take you through an upper body, predominantly back focused and core focused that are really gonna help you feel strong and powerful. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is warm up. Like always, the entire workout will be listed in the description box. This workout is coming in hot from the Evolve You app. If you don't know what the Evolve You app is, well, hundreds and thousands of women know it globally. It has completely changed thousands of women's life. It is my fitness app and you can find my um, strong programs on there that so many women have loved. And if you are on the strong program, let me know in the comments below what you think about it and if there's anything you want me to change. The entire workout will be in the description box and if you are looking to join the Evolve You app, we have incredible Black Friday offers now and they're changing each week. So stay tuned and the link is in the bio. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go through multiple supersets and then we're gonna finish off with some core. So this is gonna be a 360 upper body session. And the reason I'm supersetting exercises together is because it's gonna be quicker, it's gonna be more intense and it's gonna be fit for this purpose. If you're looking for that hourglass figure, really and truly you do have to train your upper body because naturally the more wide you are in your upper body, the more tiny your waist will look and it will give the illusion of that X frame. It's just illusions here, you're building illusions, right? So you wanna be wider here, to be smaller here, and then just look more snatched. Overall, just train your upper body because it's important. The first exercise we're gonna do, a lap pull down. This is a vertical pulling motion. So by vertical, I mean I am sat upright and I am pulling my elbows down, which is contracting my back. It's a vertical movement. And then I'm gonna pair this movement with a chest movement. So we're gonna come here and we are going to pair it with a lying chest press dumbbell. So you're gonna do three sets, about 10 reps of each exercise, rotating, supersetting, that's your first movement. <laughs> so 
So a few important things when you're doing a lap pull down. Number one, when you're gripping the lap pull down, make sure that your thumbs are out of the grip. The reason being is because you're gonna ensure that your forearm is not pulling the weight for you, it's gonna be your back that's gonna pull the weight for you. When you're working your back, your back is your primary muscle, but your bicep and your forearms are secondary and third muscles. So the less you can avoid using these secondary and third muscles, the better for the overall movement. Make sure that you are locked into the movement as well and you're not swaying too much when you're pulling the bar down. You wanna imagine creating a semicircle as you're pulling the weight down by making sure your elbows are nice and wide, but they're also coming down with the motion. So imagining you're pulling a semicircle is gonna give you that illusion of a wider frame, which also gives you the illusion of a smaller waist. Okay, so, oh my God, my mascara is right there. But this Fenty lip gloss still looks good. So, next exercise we're gonna do is a shoulder press supersetted with a bent over row. So I'm gonna pick the weights up by pushing them up with my knees. That gives you a bit more control. Let's get it, these bad boys are heavy. Okay, coming straight into the bent over row. So, few pointers. Same principle with the lat pull down, making sure your thumbs are out at all costs. Ensure that your forearms are not taken over by moving your thumbs out. So, I'm gonna do reverse just because I find more control with reverse rather than neutral, but you can do whatever you fancy. When I am unloading the rack, you wanna come out. You want your chest to be nice and proud. You wanna bend over, pulling the weight close to your hips. So, there's a big misconception that you've got to be super bent over and then bring in the barbell close to your chest. I would recommend with a bent over row, being slightly upright, pushing your glutes and hips back, bring in the weight close to your core and to your hips rather than your chest. Because the more high you bring it up, look, the more flared your elbows will be, the more control you have it underneath your chest, so your core and your hips, the more your elbows will stay nice and tucked. <sighs> So the next superset is going to be a seated row using your cables and this time it's another vertical move because you're upright and then we're going to row nice and narrow and then we're going to superset that with some lateral raises. So when it comes to your body dynamics and how, when it comes to your body's composition, everybody's body is different. I know you hear it all the time and you know, I think like it goes in and one ear and it comes out the other ear. But the truth is, everybody's built different. Some people have longer limbs, some people have shorter limbs. Some people naturally have a small waist, other people have a wide waist. That's just how you are built, that's your structure. So I don't want you to be disheartened when you see someone who has completely different ratios to you. They're just built different. Actually, I've found with myself, my body fluctuates a lot. Right now, I personally have never weighed this much in my life. My body is fluctuating and that's okay. So my composition is gonna look different. Your composition is gonna look different when you start weight training if you started yoga if you started you know running it requires a different type of composition so if you look at marathon runners for example they naturally have a very 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 slender frame because actually the lighter they are the further they can run but when you look at sprinters and track athletes they're actually built in a complete different way they do the same movement running but their composition is different because they need different mechanics to perform a different way. When it comes to bodybuilding, bodybuilder compositions are completely different. They have a smaller, more tapered waist, wider frame at the top, and wider frame at the bottom to give the illusion of an X frame. So I just want you to understand that the different type of sports you are doing is also going to determine how you are gonna look, but also your genetics plays such a big part in how you look. Some girls be out here with the tiniest waist and the fattiest, fattiest, dumpiest, juiciest booties in the world, and other people are not. That's just how it is. But you can work towards crafting your body in a specific way. However, I don't want you to think that exercise is the only way you can do that because genetics does play a really, really big part to how you look. Okay, let's get into the next movement.
next thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna literally go through a burn eye in my upper body. Uh, I haven't done this movement in a while, but I was just looking at this cable and I was like, do you know what? That could be a 10 out of 10. So I just wanna do a single arm pull down, but just grabbing the hook and just literally pulling it down like so, and just really working on that lat again and really controlling that movement. But we haven't done any unilateral movements, which is single leg and single arm movement, which is super important. But if you don't wanna do this, you can do some bicep curls or tricep push downs. Also, one big thing, so many of you are absolutely loving these water bottles from Evolve You app. Literally sold thousands and you guys are adoring these bottles. They're just so convenient. So if you want a bottle right now, they are in our Black Friday sale along with our subscriptions. So make sure that you check them out because they are 10 out of 10. My personal favorite color is the orange. I'm just gonna put it out there. I love the orange so much, but black is pretty sleek. So I just wanted to let you know about the bottles as well, just in case you were wondering. I wanted to know. So guys, just a quick tip. When you're doing this, make sure you're not just bringing your arm down and contracting your tricep. Make sure that when you are bringing your arm down, you're bringing your chest up, right, so, so you're getting more of a lat. Okay guys, so that is my quote unquote hourglass upper body workout and I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna train some core, I literally posted, I think not long ago, a six minute abs workout that you can do in the comfort of your own home. So I would pair this with that. And the beauty about that video is you can just press play, listen to what I'm saying and it's a full on workout. So there's no pauses in between or no talking. So that's really, really helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found something useful and I hope that it just reassured your mind. You're doing amazing, keep doing what you're doing and please don't let trends ever sway your mindset. I love you always and forever, and I'll see you next time.